The machine is worth $2,200 today and will need to be replaced in eight years. Write an equation for the value of the machine assuming the depreciation is linear. So I'm not an accountant, but I think they sometimes refer to this as a straight line depreciation. So it's uh, basically you know going down at the same rate, okay? So when we think about uh, a line, we think about this equation y equals mx plus b, right? The m is the slope, but the slope, another way to think about this is the rate. Okay, so when it comes to a word problem or a story problem, the slope is the rate. In this case, the rate of depreciation. The B value, that's our y-intercept, but in a story problem, you want to think of that as the initial condition or the starting value, okay? So in this particular problem, what I would do is I would uh, coordinatize these data points. And what I mean by that is, see how the machine is worth $2,200 today? That means that at year zero, okay, zero time has passed, the value of the item is $2,200. But then, see how it needs to be replaced in eight years? That means in eight years, the value is zero. So they don't really come out and spell out all this out and give us the coordinates, but it's up to us to basically recognize that at year zero, it's worth $2,200, the original amount. After eight years, we're basically saying it's worth nothing. So now we've written the two coordinates. Now when you find the rate or the slope, we're using the slope of formula, okay, the slope equation, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is like x1, y1, and this one over here is like x2, y2. The two just means 0.2, the one means 0.1. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we uh, do zero minus 2200, zero minus 2200 over eight minus zero, okay, we get negative 2200 over eight. I'm just gonna go to my calculator real quick. We've got negative 2200 divided by eight, negative 275. So that means it's going down at a rate of negative, well, at $275 uh, per year. Okay, the negative just means that it's decreasing. Now, the B value, we said that was the y-intercept or the initial condition, and here we can see that our initial condition or starting amount is 2200. So if we put all that together, we're getting y equals negative 275x plus 2200. Now, what they might ask us 